Hello everyone, welcome to my channel where I talk about personal finance. Today I'm going to talk about student loan repayment extended. So the student loan repayment has been extended. So basically you do not have to pay on your student loan till the month of May 2022. So if you have a federal student loan, you will be getting a break till May 2022. So one thing I would say, this can be a good thing and should be a good thing. But what I want to recommend is from today till May, 2022, I would recommend the money you're putting towards the student loan, take the money and allocate it towards different areas. First thing I recommend to do is if you do not have an emergency fund, even though you have one, I would take the amount you would you was putting towards the student loan and just contribute that to your emergency fund. So you would have five months of contributing extra to emergency fund, which will help you to have a much larger emergency fund. Because as I've said in the past, emergency fund is one thing, you, one financial goal you want to reach is to have an emerg a fully funded emergency fund of three to six months. Because there's always things going to happen. You may lose your job, may have problems with your car, and you want to have that emergency there for when things happen that's beyond your control. So I would take that money I, I was paying towards my student loan and contribute it towards my emergency fund. So whether you have a three to six months already, I would still put it towards it to make it even bigger because you never know when something is going to happen. The next thing I would do with the money I was putting towards the student loan is put it towards other debt. For example, if you have a car loan, I would put that money towards the car loan to reduce the amount you owe on the car loan. So that's basically putting extra payments towards your car debt, which would reduce the balance. Because the goal is to eliminate all kind of debt, even car, car loan. So that will help the process in eliminating your car debt. So the next five months you're not paying student loan, I would take that money and put it towards my car loan. The next thing is I would also pay down credit card debt. So you would be taking that same money and putting it towards your credit cards to reduce your credit card debt because credit card debt is, is an, it's just not a debt you do not want and it's, it's just debt on a whole. So you want to go ahead and take the money and put towards all credit card debt you have. In the process, reduce, reducing the balance. So if you would do that for the next five months, you're not paying your, credit, your, your student loan, you will be reducing all your credit card debts by putting that extra money towards it. Also, if you have repairs you were looking forward to do, but you did not have the money, that's, that's, I'm talking about small repairs towards your house. You could take that money and go ahead and take care of those small repairs you wanted to do your home. I'm not talking about any big repair. I'm talking about small things. You're probably trying to do some small upgrades. I would take that money and go ahead and take care of those. So this is something you would 
you would also do with the money you you would have been paying towards your student loan. Another thing I, I would recommend to do is open a sinking fund with that money. So you may want to travel. You may have a plan to travel. But I always recommend set money at a side for the travel. Do not just get up and try to wonder, well, do I have 3000 Do I have 2000 to travel? You need to put money at a side. Plan your trips. So now is the time to take that money and open a sinking fund and put that money towards the sinking fund. So if your student loan was $200, that's five months. That would have been $1,000 towards your sinking fund during that time you wasn't paying the student loan. So the sinking fund would be a great idea to go ahead and set up with that money. Also, I talked about the emergency fund, but just saving, to just have a, a saving account, I would also put that towards just a, a saving account, like a miscellaneous account. That, that's an account you may you may want to open to take care of um, small small things. So I'd open a, a miscellaneous account with that money and just put money in there. Just like the the sinking fund. If your minimum payment on your student loan monthly is two hundred dollars, within five months you have a thousand dollars towards your miscellaneous fund. So the fact that this student loan repayment is extended, I think it's a really good thing. And the people that's paying the student loan and that they have the opportunity to defer the payment till May, I think they need to go ahead and take advantage of that. And what I just mentioned is the places I would go ahead and contribute that money towards. Your emergency fund, paying off debt like the car loan, catching up on credit card debt. Also, if there is minor repairs you want to make around your house, I would go ahead and take care of that with the money. And also a sinking fund. You would open that sinking fund. For example, if you want to travel, you would take that money and put into that fund. So you would boost your travel fund. So you'll have a step ahead. So when you're ready to travel, you'll have money set aside instead of trying to um, plan a trip and then you wonder where the money is coming, through, coming from. So the student loan repayment extended for the federal lo student loans. I really believe it's a good idea. And people that it's affected need to go ahead and take advantage of it because you can go ahead and take advantage of, of, of the five months you do not have to pay the student loan. Thanks for watching this video and do not forget to subscribe to my channel.